Hey everyone, welcome to Last Longer presented by Stride. I'm MLG Pro Walshy, and today we're going to be grading Demise on this Construct TS gameplay. Let's go check it out. We're here with Demise on Construct TS. Construct TS is unlike pretty much every other map out there. Depending on where you spawn, should dictate what you do. If you spawn near the purples, you're going to want to be going on the purple lift, obviously. Or at gold, you might want to even just chill back unless you have the spawn closest to gold. Anytime you don't get the ones near the purple, you should know if you're going to either hide near low gold or you're going to charge across top mill to help your teammates get up the purples. But regardless, you should always have a plan, especially on Construct TS. Demise did a very, very good flank right there in the lobby uh, while his teammate was in close purple. Anytime you're trying to take back lobby control and you're stuck in one purple, you want to be pushing from two different ways. The best way is to catch them off guard in the lobby because if you just attack from one way, they're able to just nade the door, run away, you know, two or three different ways, hide. You have to attack from different ways. Like, that's the only disadvantage of the lobby is you can get surprised from different ways. Demise got caught off guard in a close range situation like that because he forced it. You don't have to force a situation when you have to jump on someone like that. Either go straight in for the two shot melee or back up and just VR him. Did a good job attempting to help your teammate there, Demise, but you know you're down the numbers. Jet out of there. When spawning mid gold, there's two different ways to play it. If you're getting pinned down there and you're already getting shot off your spawn, make them work for that kill. Like, you know, use the shield, stay alive there, and chill at mid gold. But anytime you can get out of mid gold, like move somewhere while you're shooting the guy or run away without being seen, always get out of there. Or, you know, make your way somewhere while shooting people because if you didn't get spawn killed there, you got a gift from them and you might as well stay alive and get a better position or lift up gold right away. One thing could have possibly done different right there is instead of running back and forth up in the lift like that, since your legs were covering the lift, just zoom in. Mai's got a pretty fortunate back smack right there. Generally, when there's guys over at Sword, take the safe route, go way back at Sword so you can't get caught off guard and meleeed. Right there, Demise got a little caught off guard since he was in such a close range battle and you know the guy just cut back on him right away. But generally if you're getting caught in those situations where it feels like, you know, you end up getting a melee fight when you weren't playing on it, put yourself in position to you know, where you're comfortable. Demise had a really good idea there of sitting on a close street like that. But you have to know that it's just a one kill thing when you're in that position. As soon as that first guy passes you and you start shooting him, you know that he's going to have teammates with him on close street. Pretty much shoot that guy or get the kill and just run away from there. Like already assume that they know you're going to be there. No point in challenging a one on one or, you know, maybe a one on two when they already know exactly where you're at. Pretty unfortunate back smack, but when they have a guy at sword like that and you don't know exactly where he's at, you guys can just wait for him to come into your lobby or go out front to see exactly where he's at. That way you don't get caught off guard. Like have a teammate go out front door, shoot him at R1, and then have your teammate go in sword when you know exactly where he's at. Really good job here noticing that his teammates on rockets there, putting shots on the guys that closed and just committing to a charge and pushing in there. Once again, a uh, very nice shot by Demise, and more importantly, when the sniper was down there, he went and secured close street, killed that guy, and then grabbed the sniper rather than right away. Had you picked up sniper right away, Demise, you probably would have had to either no scope or die. Very, very nice snipes. Only thing I would change different there, Demise, is anytime you see a guy getting shot by your teammates that you have in your scope, just body him right away. 
It only takes a couple BR bursts along with a sniper body shot to kill somebody. Very good job by Demise and Wog there. Wog obviously being weak running back to Demise and Demise just leading the way and them both turning around double teaming that guy. Very good teamwork by both of them. Demise right here could just be zooming down the lift if he doesn't want his legs blocking his view. That way you're never caught in the lift at all. You can move freely. Split second timing like that in the lifts can help you get away or place the nade perfectly. You need any split second you can not be caught in that lift because if you see two guys lift up on you, you want to run away right away. Demise and his team pretty much gave up all the control they had right here, dropping down for this OS. The whole point of disrupting OS is to make them not get it and also keep top control. I would never trade top control for just the OS itself. Honestly, that's a one or two person job, like going down and disrupting the OS. Or, you know, if you do send more people than that, like they did, I would get up right away. You want to still keep the top control. That's the most important part. By everyone dropping there on your team, you just ended up giving them top control. And I think you guys ended up burning OS anyway. So it really did not work out in your team's favor right there. <laughs> After evaluating Demise, I'll give him a B- on his gameplay. He did a great job of cleaning up kills, worked well with his teammates, however, he gave up a lot of map control and hesitated to commit to a push or a flank. Thanks for watching everyone, this has been MLG Pro Player Walshy with another Last Longer episode. Be sure to check out more Last Longer videos on MLGPro.com presented by Stride, the ridiculously long lasting gum.